Today we are doing Zelda Breath of the Wild's The Crowned Beast Shrine Quest which unveils the Nizo Lo Shrine in the Lanaru region. What's up YouTube? I'm Kat from KK Jinx Gaming, gaming for fun. And today I'm going to show you how to solve this shrine quest. Watch to the end to get all of the chests. This shrine is located south of Zora's Domain and north of the Rabia Plain. When you get here, look and or listen for Cass. And you will also see an orange glowing pedestal. Let's go speak with him to get this quest started. Oh, pardon me. I didn't think anyone was around. Uh, I knew we'd meet again, though. I never imagined it would be here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Excellent. Without further ado. A beast that wears a crown of bone, prancing through the lush green. Mount the beast upon its throne, for only then the shrine is seen. I suppose the lush green could refer to this place, but what sort of beast wears a crown of bone? Weirdos. There's definitely a secret hiding here, but it's beyond me. Most like everything else, may the light illuminate your path. And that is the crowned beast shrine quest activated. So, the crown made out of bones refers to a stack or a boy deer with antlers. And there's a wooded area right over here, and I recommend wearing your sneaky armor or eating some sneaky food because the deer here are more temperamental than horses, and they have more sensitive hearing, so they will scare off easier. But we want to get close enough to one to mount and tame him. Go ahead and smash that L button and get him to calm down. Once you do that, go ahead and ride that deer back to cast. But when you start to get close to the pedestal, go ahead and slow down by pulling down on your joystick and ride the crown beast onto the pedestal. This will unveil the Mizo Lo Shrine. And that is the crown beast shrine quest complete. Once that's all risen out of the ground, make your way over and let's go inside. This puzzle is called Ancient Trifecta. This is one of those shrines that you can do many, many different ways, but in all the ways that you can do it, we wanna start by climbing this ramp. You'll see a switch, and if you look down yonder, you'll see a metal block. Grab that, and you'll see that it's blocking a laser. This laser hits the switch and causes a moving platform to rotate around the room every time the switch gets hit. So I'm gonna use my magnesis block to keep triggering the switch until the platform is back to my location, which by my count is three. Now, I want to leave this metal block on the other side of the room directly in front of me, and I want it within reach of the other platform so I'm gonna move it just a little bit closer so I'm gonna need this later on and now I'm gonna use stasis to hit the switch but from here you can use arrows to shoot the switch directly or you can use remote bombs the first stop is the treasure chest platform go open your chest to reveal a dun -dun -dun -dun. Thunder blade. Stuff that in your pocket and let's do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around. Let's come back to the rotating platform and stasis and then unstasis the laser mechanism once again. And then let it carry you to the floor switch platform. And of course we can hold the switch down with a campfire or the chest from the previous platform. But what else am I even going to use this metal block for other than to hold down this floor switch? But once that floor switch is pressed, it's going to open the locked gates that contain the monk. But I'm going to stasis and unstasis the laser mechanism just one more time and let it carry me to the the monk. Check your map. You betcha. We got all of the chests. So now all that's left to do is talk to the monk and that's it boys and girls. You're all done. If you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to punch that bell square in the face so you don't miss any content released. This is KK Jinx over and out.